Get to another spot, hey, Mara on one fan three, walking with this dragon now. What's up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some of the changes, not even changes, specifically what happened to my gains when I was off testosterone. So, obviously, you guys know I was off testosterone. I definitely made videos talking about how I have been off testosterone, but I didn't really go into depth on what changed with my body and everything. So, I'm just gonna be talking about that a little bit more in depth today. That's not how I felt on that kind of so basically, the first thing that I'm going to talk about, which is probably what a lot of trans guys fear when they go off testosterone, is the fat redistribution. So if you know fat that fat, so fat redistribution is something that can be good or bad. It's good when you first start T or when you're on T, right? And your feminine pattern of fat. So like dudes, they're thick, I guess, and not so curvy, if that makes sense. So their fat will just be more like on their stomach, like in a male pattern basically so like you're not gonna have curves on a dude so, for the most part you know what i'm saying yeah but for like a woman or someone like not on t their body shape is going to be like more curvy when you get to the hips right so the hips so when you get to the hips like so it's here 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 and then when you get to like right here it's gonna curve for women or for people that are not on t right so that was you know that was going good for me being on T for two and a half years, my fat had redistributed from that feminine pattern to a male pattern, meaning like I was getting more boxy and I didn't look so curvy. Now, going off of T, bro, the first month or two, I didn't really notice it that bad, but like after two and a half, like three month mark, it was kind of bad. And I'm gonna be showing y'all what exactly I mean. I'm kind of gonna be exposing myself. And honestly, this was like my biggest insecurity and like what made me trip the most when I was off T was just like the, my body shape because I literally was watching myself every day get a more feminine pattern and it was just not it. Pierre. <laughs> yeah, so basically like my hips, like before I'm gonna insert a pic right here or a video. So my hips, they were like not present at all. I looked just like straight, like a big dude, right? Like I did not look feminine whatsoever in my to like mid area, right? And then now, so like right now, so it's not that bad because I've been on T for two months already. So it's not that bad as it was. I will insert a pic or a clip of how my body looked though. Um, when I was really off T, like three months off T. But yeah, look, so what I'm trying to say is like, instead of just being straight down right it kind of curves so this is my hip like i thought it was just lone house <laughs> thought i was fat or something and it kind of was too but it's just my hips like like this is bone like you get what i'm saying like it's not even like it's fat like 100 percent. it's just my hips got like they got bigger bro and like the fat was is all right here so but yeah I'm sorry if I'm horrible at explaining the whole fat redistribution thing, but you guys can see what I mean. And then now look at how it was when I was off T. That's probably like the biggest thing I've had to deal with, the most thing that made me insecure because like that's just not how I want my body shape to look, especially going from what I was before, like, you know what I mean? To all of a sudden having to revert back to a feminine pattern, like that is not it. And not only just did the fat redistribute around my hips, the fat redistributed back to my ass, bro. So everyone, I'm pretty sure you guys know I have a fat ass. Um, it is it is what it is, I have a fat ass. But before I got off T, my ass was like, my butt, I'm not gonna say ass, that's, that's too hump. Pierre, I know, I'm sorry. Say hi. <laughs> so the fat, we distributed to my butt, bro, bad, because before, I will even insert some clips of my butt so y'all can see, because I know y'all probably want to see. So before I got off tea, my butt was like tighter, I guess, like I had a fat, I'm gonna say ass, I had a fat ass, right? But it wasn't like extremely jiggly like a woman's ass would be. But as soon as I went off tea, bro, I noticed that my ass started to get like jigglier and like more like, like it was not it. Cause I'm cool with having a fat ass, bro. I'm cool with having a fat ass, but I do not want it to be like a feminine ass. You feel me? Like there's a difference between a dude ass and a woman ass. There is 
there just is woman ass is gonna be more like feel me like more squishy more jiggly a dude's ass it'll be fat yeah but there's gonna be like muscle especially me because i was working out so like i had a fast but it was like muscular ish like half muscular ish and just half a, half a fat ass like it was just fat but yeah so i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like That is all in the realm of fat redistribution. So around my hips, the fat redistributed, and around my butt, the fat redistributed. But luckily, the good thing is that now being two months on T, I'm noticing things going back. You know what I mean? Like it's not the same as it was off T. So fat redistribution is kind of tough to pinpoint and like put a time, a time span on how long it's gonna take to revert and come back and all that stuff because it takes a while. It literally took me years two years plus on t for my body to get that male pattern for real so what i'm trying to say is it takes a long time for the fat to redistribute properly but for me it's not like i really was off t that long to where it's gonna do major damage but still i did notice it but yeah so other than the fat redistribution some things that you can for sure notice from my physique is i got skinny as fuck I lost 15 pounds, bro, 15 pounds, and some of it was, of course, muscle, some of it was fat. 15 pounds, bro, so, you know, um, even the, the thumbnail, you guys can tell, like, I just, like, I'll put the thumbnail here so y'all can just see. So before, I was thicker, more, like, bulky and everything, and then now, not even now, I need to stop saying now like I'm still like that, but anyways, y'all see. I just got skinny bro like very very skinny um i was flat i didn't have any definition in my chest or like anything i was just very skinny and that was like it kind of sucked because at the same time like i like i said before in a different video i tried to maintain my weight and not let myself get that skinny but you cannot do anything because first of all i wasn't eating how i used to eat i couldn't even eat the same amount of protein amount of calories at all to maintain the weight yet alone gain weight or improve in strength or you know what i mean like bro i barely i was able to maintain so on bench i was able to maintain doing 45s on each side so the benching 130 bro so before getting off tea i was benching way more than that but of course like you know my bench is not gonna go up if i'm not even eating properly and i have no testosterone to boost me or whatever right so but i was able to keep that and yeah barely i remember like I was getting to like three months off T, my bench, I just honestly stopped benching because I did not even want to see the numbers keep falling. As At that point, I was probably going to have to do like 40 on each side, 35 on each side, which is not it. Um, When I know damn well, I can do way more than that. Yeah, so to sum it all up, the fat redistributed, Um, I got a lot softer, like I wasn't as like, you know, hard, like muscle wise, because obviously if I'm muscled up, I'm going to be like thick, you know what I mean? Hard, like not soft, but yeah being off tea just made me squishier skinnier um it was just not it but yeah so this is me now so i'm already i've been working out ever since honestly i haven't stopped working out only time i did stop working out was for the recovery process i, I don't think i worked out for like a week and a half um just because the pain was so bad and i did not want to risk messing anything else up but other than that i have been on my grind since september uh i think i was done like september like eighth or something around there something like that yeah so september till now i've been in the gym consistently and it's not just the gym that is going to get me back to where i'm at plus more it's going to be nutrition so i'm making sure that i'm i'm eating enough to gain weight and gain muscle because you can work out all you want but if you're not eating correctly and eating foods that are actually going to fuel your body to to recover and, and and gain strength and gain muscle then you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna see it's not gonna give what it's supposed to be giving you're not gonna see the results in yourself that you want to receive so basically like as y'all can see i'm already getting i'm already getting bigger so that's cool but i've just been eating a lot of protein um a lot of calories as well because obviously if i lost 15 pounds i'm gonna need to eat to regain those pounds and um it's not hard but it's definitely not easy either because like coming off of this being off tea and not really eating that much now i have to kind of retrain my brain to like hey bro you gotta eat hey bro you gotta eat like four times a day type shit like i just have to eat um 
it's not really like an option i kind of just have to like it's a routine basically so um but i've been doing well with that i'm definitely gaining weight i think i'm already at so in the morning i'm like at 174 and before i was at 175 like prior to going off tea so you feel me <laughs> uh, i think i think i'm doing pretty well i'm almost gonna surpass where i where i left off going off tea so i'm not even worried about it but yeah y'all if y'all are worried about being able to you know get back to where you were all i gotta say is as soon as you are able to hop back on routine hop back on routine go to the gym eat good rest up take care of yourself like do the things that you did prior and 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 you will eventually get back into that into that good place you know what i mean like it's not even just physically like mentally as well doing things like that like seeing myself you know progress physically bro helps my mental so much because like every day i look in the mirror and i'm like oh shit bro like you look good as fuck like you know it's just a confidence booster so that's my piece of advice to y'all just stay on your shit keep grinding you're not gonna see the results the next day in the mirror so you have to be aware of that as well just continue grinding and then there will come a day where you wake up and you look at stuff in the mirror and you're like what the fuck when the fuck did that happen so patience but yeah y'all thank y'all for watching i hope i clarified exactly like what are the big things that happen if not you guys can ask me questions in the comments and i will go over them again in a different video or i'll just reply to you in the comments right there but yeah y'all peace out